All right, Garys and Garyettes, today is tune day for that Nitto Forge Bottom End, the fresh barra that was put together by Nick Bogart from Franklin Engineering, absolute legend. Massive shout out again, if you didn't see last video, we chucked all this in there and yes, he's done an amazing job. We had a hectic warped head from, um, from the first round of D1NZ, from overboost and cylinder pressure, too much heat, all that stuff. So the bottom end was actually okay, but um, from inspection, there was a few broken ring, ring lands, probably from off hole anti-lag and the launch control shooting Kang flames on the standard bottom end. Did a whole season, so stoked with that, but now it's time to put the good stuff in. The only thing that was standard left in the car was that barra bottom end. So now we've got a complete Nitto forged V2 pistons and rods rated to 2000 horsepower. So we're not gonna get anywhere near there, but we are going to push it as hard as we can. Whatever that Hypergear ATR45 can do with the epic power band, it's gonna be absolutely crispy. So all you guys that commented what power you think, thank you, but if you didn't, bang it down in the comments now because I'm very interested to see what she can do. All right, so all I gotta do now is load her up. So I've got my shat wheels right here. So no screwing around this time. We just got the same as we got at home. The BA Falcon or whatever Falcon they are, um, 18 inch. Oh, sorry, they're 17s, but big brake clearance to clear those big boy. I think we've got 350Z, no, 300ZX. I don't know, whatever the biggest um, Nissan standard caliper you can basically get. And nothing clears them. Obviously, this sexy can size clear the shit out of them. But standard wheel wise, and to get on the trailer, to get up there, um, the old barrel wags is a bit, a bit wide, so um, it becomes a bit of a struggle. Thanks to Ben Jenkins, Team Jenkins Motorsports. Um, yeah, he picked me up some uh, from the local wrecker. And um, yes, hopefully they go straight on, no issues, and then straight on the trailer. Pretty much be running gate pressure, runner in, drop that oil. I've got um, fresh oil filter and oil. Uh, thanks to uh, the Jenkins again, we've got the, the Motul in there and a fresh race filter. And there's the rest of the coolant to put in there. I've got the old gate, got the spare turbs, because who knows, a few oil pumps, some gaskets, things like that, just in case. So I got some spark plugs in there too, but it should all be sweet and fingers crossed. We just make all the powers with zero issues. So anyway, enough talking, let's get her on the trailer and get out of here. Cause um, we actually just missed uh, Cyclone Gabrielle, I think it's called. Um, so we just come back after we gave it a bit of a, a break day yesterday. I just took it easy. I was supposed to fit up some tires. Didn't happen. We got the fresh Bellinos to go on. So I might actually throw them on because um, I'll save these for a later date. Uh, but because I, I don't have enough of them for really a, a hectic round, so maybe in the next super sprint round I'll use these um, spicy trices. But um, Bellino has come on board and helped us out with uh, all the tires for the next couple of rounds. So. Um, I might replace them, so I don't have to pull this off the trailer. Ready for this weekend down at uh, Mount Smart uh, for D1Z round two, and we're gonna take it all the way this time. No dropping out at fourth place uh, due to mechanicals. We don't want that. We wanna stick it to the big boys and uh, show, up, show them what we're all about. Um, so yeah, I'll do these couple of things, load her up and um, get on the road to NDT Performance. I keep forgetting their name, but Brian, who checked up this car last time, um, we'll run it up again with him. Uh, he knows what's up, and um, we'll see what powers we can make. Enjoy the video. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it, ooh. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year. Yeah. Yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my Big dog walking, big talk, young veteran Living legend, bet I'm better than them This is my ship, I'ma check it like let them in Job and I let them in, they gon' rotate this So I keep the pedaling, start of the chain The cycle is heaven sent, this is from God But I'm not your reverend, not in the pulpit I'm a big pull of this element, yeah Said you gon' pull up, then settle it, yeah I've been married to the top Almost forgot, we had um three um, can size That didn't arrive due to um, coming through New Zealand customs there um, So... I guess that makes it easy. 
got some new wheels just fit up these tyres, so I don't have to pull any off. And um, they also uh, what got held up is some spicy stickers and merchandise, some gloves for the boys. How good's that? The cheers, Kansai. Legends for coming on board, sponsoring us this um, this season. Even a flag. Oof. Chuck that up for shout. Cheers, boys. Let's get these fitted. Yeah, hit the ground and go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. But there's your clowns. <sighs> Look at that almighty tears up. She loves it. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're here just down at NDT with Brian. And um, yeah, just about to clean up the core. Got to be the cow area and start to sound a bit funky. I did notice putting on the trailer, the clutch wasn't just engaging properly. So hopefully the, the changes grow that we did, did stuff and everything. I don't think it would. Um, I reckon it just needs a bleed because it started playing up at the end of the, uh, the last round. So after when we wear it in, uh, the motor, once you get it warm, bleed the core, um, get those bearings on in, change the oil, we'll uh, bleed up the clutch so it's all good to go. Brian, how you doing, mate? <laughs> All right, time to run her in. Uh, so engine oil run in, just dropping the oil now and cutting open the filter to have a look if there's any shit in there, I think. See if anything's yeah. gone wrong. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what you like to hear. It's unreal. There's basically no silicon in there at all. Good job. Like that. It builds um like tractor engines and shit. Tractor engines. Big diesels and forklift yeah. engines and like, excavator engines and stuff like that. So I don't know. He knows what he's doing, obviously. Yep.
7,300 RPM. I think we're going to push this one to see if it's safe or not. Let's see how we go. All right, that's it, she's all done. Um, and this is what we end up with. Not bad, just under 1100 Newton meters and she comes on like an absolute freight train. What's that before? It's like 3,300, three, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and then five, what is it, five? 560 kilowatt. 560 kilowatt. Um, so yeah, definitely got gains, but um, yeah, that turbo is definitely running out, as you can see there. Um, we'll pull up the, the boost in a second. And um, RPM, we ended up going with 6.9 um, without the button and 7.3, I think, um, with the extra RPM button, uh, just because you were getting some funky noises going on. Yeah, not sure exactly what it was, but there's definitely something interesting happening through the headphones yeah. right at the top, so we mm. probably paid to shut it down a little bit earlier. Yeah, you like, mentioned uh, similar noises to what you get on the, the RBs. With the yeah, sometimes on the hydraulic lift they get um, RB25s. Yeah, they make a bit of funky noises when it revs right up there if they're on a standard valve spring and it's sort of a similar noise to what this sounds like. Yeah, so, okay, cool. I mean, it hasn't done anything weird, it hasn't made, it given us a problem yet, but probably better to play it safe. Yeah, definitely better to play it safe. We de definitely don't need it. We've got power where we need it. It's just the extra legs is a bit nice on some of those um, some of those layouts if, we run it, if we're in between a gear or whatever, but um, we should have usable power in every gear, so we'll see how we go. We, yeah, definitely don't want dramas, so. Yeah. Um, and the head hasn't really been upgraded apart from the valve springs and stuff, so I don't know what you can do to get more RPM apart from de-stroking it, um, but I'm pretty sure it'll be sweet. So there's the boost. Um, there was a few runs um, at the start. We were doing, oh, you were just ramping it up slowly, yeah. and then we ended up going to like 21 PSI or something, and yeah, it was going to like 21 PSI and just sort of, flat lining and dropping and then we ended up upping it to um, 23 just in the mid-range where, it, we, where we can get more. Basically just filled the mid-range in where the turbo was still happy to make some power and then it just let it taper off to what it wants to do at the top. Yep. You know, by the time it's up around 50, 600 odd RPM it's just got no, turbo's got nothing yeah. left to give. So. Mm. Which I definitely thought it was the case um, last time, I don't, know, I don't know how it was hitting it was hitting 28 for a little bit, uh, 28 PSI but yeah obviously that was just mid-range full load. Um, and yeah, the turbo just runs out of puff, so I don't know what was going on there, um, but it's still the same. It'll definitely make more through the middle if you did um, yep. did want it to, it's just not going to ever do it up the top. But it'll just be like inefficient, like hot air, I don't know, yeah, it'd just be yeah. become not really, there's not much point, yeah, it wouldn't make much power. It's, yeah, it's just a lot more stress on the engine for not a huge gain. Hence probably the head lifting of the old <laughs> setup. <laughs> um, but yeah, something else happened. We, well, I, I turned off the fan on yet, and because um, I thought that you just left it running, but you got it on a switch. And we did a few runs at the start, and you said you were, you were surprised. Yeah, I was actually quite surprised. I didn't even realise, but the fan wasn't going in front of the car. So obviously the, the fans that cool the radiator work really well, and the intercooler is pretty impressive. Um, like I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary and then... Normally um, you would. <laughs> yeah. I mean, admittedly we were on lower boost at that point, but even still it was sort of... You still see some sort of like a, a heat yeah. soak or something going yeah, on. Yeah, it was just interesting to see that the, the inlet temps didn't get crazy even with no fan in front of it. It was pretty impressive. So there you go, man. Shout out to PWR. Um, and their spicy products. There's no wonder they're um, supplying the F1 um, this year, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so... The only thing left is uh, get a bit of a comparison um, to when we were last here when we first pulled it off the boat uh, with the old motor and old setup. So that's how it was when we ran it up the other week. Jesus. <laughs> so, a fair bit more chunky through the middle, but yeah. just, we were capping it and you know, holding it back for yeah. to try and keep the rods inside the block. Yeah, that's it. It's a it did keep the rods inside the block, it just didn't keep the head strapped to the block. <laughs> that's it. So yeah, uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, it just comes on. We've got that little bit of extra even from the get-go. Um, and then it comes on. Pretty much the same sort of response, but it just keeps <laughs> keeps on going. And yeah, tapers off pretty much the same, but still holds a much stronger power band. And then, yeah, power-wise, um, yeah, just pretty much more power everywhere. 
which is not bad. So before, what is it, three and, yeah, three and a half. We're at 300 kilowatt, now we're almost at 400 kilowatt. Yeah, it's almost 100 kilowatt gains everywhere. Yeah, that's it. A little bit extra RPM and all that. And we're good to go. All right, well, uh, thanks so much, appreciate it. No worries. <laughs> How will load her back up and uh, tomorrow I've got to figure out this gearbox issue and what's going on there with the throw and the, we think it might be the slave because um, you reckon it was bleeding out on the dyno um, and it'd have to pump it up to get it going so figuring out another slave could be fun hopefully some guys have have some around here definitely couldn't hurt to just replace it so i'll figure that out and possibly even the clutch master it couldn't hurt to just replace both so we know it uh, got all fresh stuff i'll check the throw Really can't be bothered. Jesse, where are you? His flight got cancelled. He was supposed to be here tomorrow. It was originally supposed to be here Monday because we rescheduled his flights, but um, now it's been pushed back till Thursday. So pretty much he lands as we're dropping the cars off at the event. So that's no use, is it? But oh, at least he'll be there for the weekend thrashing. This weekend, Mount Smart. Um, yeah, got to say a huge shout out again to Nick Bogger for building the motor such last minute. He did it, smashed it out in a week and uh, need a performance for the V2 rods and pistons. And thank you, Brian, NDT Developments, for getting the tune done as well. So that's it, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be slaying it this weekend at Mount Smart. Keen out. Yeah. Sequels, trying to pull my thread through the plot like a fine needle All of these lines equal proof that I live along Got the benefit of time to deliver flows Eating creamy peanut butter, buddy, I lick the boat Brings my soul body into the physical New cards, new deck, new life King of Cups, he comes up right Always, all days, all nights nice. See, do I, do I, do I New cards, new deck, new life King of Cups, he comes up right Always, all days, all nights Sing do I, do I, do I